today what is going on guys i am moldy fate and uh, these are re-uploads from my previous channel so i hope you enjoy and if you're new here again please enjoy the what if and hopefully this doesn't get copyright struck hello guys this is tyrone dubs for i know today i'm doing a different type of video um i kind of just did this for fun you know i don't really like see this to be like a really big thing but if you want me to continue doing this type of stuff then uh well just like comment subscribe you know it did take me a hot second to make this so if you can take one second to subscribe that would be really nice and today we're looking at what if deku had the nine tails as a quirk now it's gonna be different from how the nine tails is portrayed in the naruto universe you see in the naruto universe the nine tails is a physical being in this universe he just has the power of the nine tails you know as a quirk so hopefully you guys enjoy remember i'm not really doing this like as a thing thing i just like did this quickly and then you know just kind of um just you know oh god well enjoy i guess here's some backstory before we get into the actual show show um Midori was playing on red railroad tracks god why can i not speak today um, when he jumped out of the way of a train, um, he didn't really notice the train, so it surprised the four-year-old protagonist. Um, after that, his mother noticed that like Deku would get red aura, and his eyes would tur turn red, and his like pupils would slant, and like snakes were like, like hat. Then she noticed that tails would just start up here. She noticed that there's randomly nine tails sometimes, you know, one tail, then like three. It's kind of random. She takes to the doctor, and the doctor states that he does have a quirk that enhances his speed, uh, strength, agility, mobility, it boosts pretty much all of those. The odd part is that when he activates his aura, like nine tails would come out. There does not really seem to be a purpose though, and so they dubbed his quirk nine tails. Um, then there's like one more thing that he can summon a ball of destruction, but it's not really that strong, it just tires him out a bit. But he doesn't really use this at all, and it's really hard for him, so he has to really concentrate. Now, because Deku has a quirk, um, he's gonna have more confidence. Bakugo kind of respects him for a bit, and they stay good friends, and they even train together trying to hone their skills throughout the years. Ten years go by, and um, this is right before season one. Deku's fighting style is a more to the ground. He stays low using upper kicks, upper punches, you know, hooks, slashes, back fist. Kind of like how Naruto does it when he's in the cloak form. And, uh, yeah. We open up with Deku laying in bed and Bakugo writing on the door telling him that it's time to get up and he has to before they get late for school. They, uh, Deku opens the door and they walk to school together. Bakugo asks a simple question. You wouldn't roll him to you late, right? Um, Midori kind of surprised. He's like, yeah, I did. And, uh, did you? Because they both wanted to go into the same school to show off everybody that they are not playing around. And that they're pretty much better than everybody. Midori has more confidence. Acts kind of like Bakugo, but not fully. He's still nice. He doesn't really call people extra. He's just more confident in his own abilities. Um, the school day goes by pretty normally, but people don't laugh at Midoriya. If anything, they're not even surprised that both Midoriya and Bakugo are enrolling with TUA. They walk home together, taking a long out, and they go for a tunnel, and then the sludge villain appears out of manhole. Deku asks um, Bakugo if they're gonna run or fight. Bakugo yells, fight you dumbass, and then we get um, a quick glimpse of how uh, Deku is using his powers. He can expand his aura, and normally if he expands it, nothing really happens, but if he expands it to a person who has a quirk, the quirk will be boosted. So they got used to this type of fighting style. If they're together, the Jack is going to uh, expand his quirk, and Bakugo can do all the fighting. Because of this, Bakugo uses a giant blast to knock out the villain. All Might drops up kind of confused at what happened, and when he's told that they beat the villain, he tells him they have strong quirks. And um, they both smile. Now, because of this, Midori, because of the more that has a quirk, he's really confident in himself. He doesn't ask All Might, he doesn't like get All Might to lose the bottle. Everything goes normal. Then Bakugo tells them that they have 10 months to train on their own. 
try and both of them agree that having attacks and knowing each other's attack is not gonna work so they need to figure out their own like abilities for themselves the training that Midoriya normally would do in these 10 months is trying to make the tail beast bomb well that's what he wants to call it he's trying to basically uh, around the fifth month, he finds out that if he uses one tail and hovers uh, over his arm and or like his hands or feet, he can make a ball and it's really destructive. He also found out in like the sixth month that he can transfer this into ob different objects and or below him. He got used to uh, having tail beast bombs on his feet and on his um, hand. He also dubbed it tail beast bomb because he has tails and they explode. He also um, did a bunch of parkour, getting used to his surroundings, pretty much being more agile. And when they come back, they um, look at each other and not in agreement before they go into the UA exam. Pretty much everything goes the exact same way. Ida still has a complaint, but doesn't complain about Midoriya mumbling because both Midoriya and Bakugo are just chill with each other. Then the exam. Both examinees, our protagonists, do really well and have a bunch of fun blasting robots, telling jokes, and showing off the different abilities that they learned. Bakugo kind of comments that Tail Beast Bomb, the ability at least, is kind of like his explosions and was more flattered that he would, that Deku would copy him and kind of pissed off that Deku would copy him. But Deku knows that it's not that simple and if he uses too many tails, he's, his arm's just gonna, you know, break, kind of like the normal. Anyway, both of them around get get to 60 villain points, but then the zero point robot appears. They notice that Uraraka is trapped under some rubble, and Bakugo kind of yells like, I, like pretty much instinct to cover me in Hirara, and Deku has a different plan to show him off how a tail beast bomb can do. He tells him to launch him and cover himself with aura. And then he covers Bakugo over it. Bakugo blasts him, but it's way bigger than normal, and it's black. It's a black with um, of a purple hue. That's not normal what explosions were. He thinks that this is because of his tail beast bomb affecting his blast. He does another blast to see if his blasts were affected, but they weren't. And he goes to Uraraka to get her out of the way. He does get her out of the way. Midoriya yells tail beast bomb with two tails instead of his normal one since number one would not do as much harm and he knows that it's not really working as he thought so he starts using five and it's still not working he's still up in the air trying to make this robot go down so then he uses the nine tails and the robot's face is blasted off its own shoulders because of this the, the because of this Midori is falling Pretty much to his death, Bakugo does catch him because the kill um, got Oraka to safety. And this means that both Midoriya and Bakugo get 60 rescue points and 60 bloom points. And with um, present, Mark, present Mike yelling the exams are over, now both Bakugo and Midoriya share the number one spot in their class. Thank you for um, listening. This is going to be ending part one now. If you guys really want me to do a part two, uh, I'll gladly do it. It might take me a bit faster, but like, I will do a part two even if you guys don't want me to. I kind of like writing, and this was the first time I actually had fun just writing and writing. So, uh, yeah, uh, a normal video will be out sooner or later. Uh, I think I'm going to do... A video on FNAF next since I do love Final Fantasy Freddy's but uh, if you really did like this please like uh, subscribe you know and all that uh, and I'll see you later